Welcome to this tapping session for birth preparation, for preparing your mind and your soul for birth. I'm Katrin Seller. I am a EFT tapping coach and a birth doula. And um, thank you for joining me. So to start with, I invite you, if you're at a safe space, to do so. To put everything aside that was before and everything that comes after. And just allow yourself this beautiful space of connecting with yourself, of connecting with your body. If you feel guided to do so, put your hands maybe on your belly, connecting with your baby who's moving inside of you and who's preparing to start this journey into the world. When the time comes at the perfect moment, at the perfect day. And just allow yourself to connect with your breathing, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth, releasing any tension that you're holding especially any tension in your face, in your jaw. And while you release the tension in your face and in your jaw, realize how your whole pelvic area can also release some tension. Your mouth is directly connected to your pelvic floor. So I invite you to release there. Inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth. Arrive in your body, arrive at where you're sitting, feeling your body, your sitting bones, your feet at the floor. And just let yourself be filled with gratitude for this incredible journey that you're on, for this incredible, powerful and vulnerable journey with two hearts under your same skin. It's incredible big and your body has incredible knowledge and incredible wisdom that will guide you in your birth. Your body knows exactly what you need and your body will always show you your truth. And before we start to tap, I want to invite you just for your self-knowledge Tune in your yourself when you think about the birth ahead. What emotions arise in you? What thoughts arise in you? Physical sensations arise in you. And where do you feel them in your body? Locate the physical sensations, locate the emotions in your body. And allow yourself that space of observing yourself full of compassion. There is no right or wrong here. Nothing has to be different. Everything can just be as it is. And just notice for yourself the intensity of the feeling that you're experiencing. Be it an emotion, be it a physical sensation. And rate it on a scale from 0 to 10, 10 being the highest. And just take note of it. And at the end of the session, although I don't know what you found, because we're not doing this tapping session together, just connect back to it and see if something has changed there. See if something is different now at the end than now. And I will guide you now, and I invite you simply to repeat what I'm saying. If something comes to your mind where you know you have a more exact word for it or another location in your body, feel free to fill that in without going into the need to overanalyze things. Allow yourself to simply experience the session and yourself, your body, your baby, and whatever you encounter. And then I invite you to start tapping on the side of your hand. And you say, 
even though sometimes the thought of giving birth and the intensity I might encounter there, the intensity of the contractions, the intensity of this incredible existential primordial power that will move through me and help me give birth to this baby is scaring me and is making me afraid. That's okay. I allow myself to feel all those feelings that arise in me. And I love and accept myself with all of them. Even though the thought of what might happen in my birth, I want to act, is scaring me. And I feel that in my body. That's okay. I love and accept myself with all of it. Even though when I think about my birth and how this birth journey might be and that I might be losing it, I might be cracking open and maybe a part of me shows up that I have a hard time with it. This part of me exists. Maybe I will react in ways I normally don't want to react. Or I don't allow myself to react. That's okay. I love and accept myself anyway. And then you go to the, your head. You tap on top of your head. And you say, the thought of losing it in birth is making me afraid top of the eyebrows and I can feel that in my body I'm afraid of how vulnerable I might feel when I give birth under your eyes what if I get too loud or too angry under your nose what if I get too needy under your mouse. What if I completely fall apart? Collarbone. I'm scared of what might come out of me. Side of your body. What if any part of me shows up that is really angry or that is really loud? Front of your body. Or what if a part of me shows up that can't stand up for herself? Wrist point. What if I will feel so incredibly vulnerable? Top of your head. There's a part of me that's scared about birth. Top of your eyebrows. And that's okay. Right of your eyes. I'm allowing myself right now to feel all those feelings. Under your eyes. And even though there's a huge part of me that's excited about this journey, under your nose, and so excited to meet my baby, under your mouth, to see its beautiful face. Collarbone. There's another part of me that's afraid of what I might encounter in this journey. And that's okay. Both parts can exist. And I can love and accept myself anyway. I want you to stop for a second. I want you just to feel into yourself. What are you feeling right now? Reconnect to this initial sensation. This initial emotion or thought that was there. See if it's higher or less high. See if something has changed. And again, just take note of it. And then we start tapping again on the side of your hand. And you say, even though there is a part of me that is afraid of falling apart in birth, 
that is afraid of the complete surrender and the vulnerability I might encounter that birth will bring me to. There is another part of me that is excited about where all this might take me. Even though there is a part of me that doesn't want to lose it, there's another part of me who knows that if I lose it, the new can come true. And today I'm choosing to release any judgment, any self condemnment I'm holding against anything that might show up in my birth, anything that I might do, need, want, or not want. And to love and accept myself fully as who I am and in what I need. Even though I'm aware of that birth will bring me to a place where I'm so vulnerable and which is normally so protected. I'm aware of that I will go out of my rational mind and connect to this place in me where I'm in my primordial mind and where I exactly know what I need but where also parts of me might show up that are so vulnerable. Today I'm choosing to welcome all those parts of me and to see it as an incredible journey into becoming more of who I really am. Top of your head. Perhaps I need to fall apart. Top of your eyebrows. Perhaps it's completely okay to fall apart. Head of your eyes. Perhaps if I allow myself to fall apart, the new can truly come true. Your eyes. And I can truly come together again in a new way. And I know. Maybe all of this will lead me to more and not to less. I allow myself to crack open. Collarbone. I allow myself to connect to my vulnerability. Side of your body. I allow myself to feel exactly what I need. Front of your body. And I allow this part of me to show up that needs to feel safe, that needs to feel nurtured, and that needs to feel unconditionally loved. Point. This part of me that maybe feels dependent on other people loving her. And maybe it's okay that this part of me shows up. Top of your head. Because maybe this part of me will exactly allow the wise woman and the wise mother in me to be born. Top of your eyebrows. So I can embrace my baby in its neediness side of your eyes for me for my love under your eyes for my body for my warmth under your nose for being held by me and nurtured by me I choose to connect to my most vulnerable self collarbone I choose to allow myself to lose it Side of your body. I choose to surrender to all what is and to celebrate myself in that and to look at myself with compassion front of your body instead of judgment. Rest point. I embrace all parts of me, all parts of me that might show up parts of me that I'm aware of and parts of me that I have maybe never met or aren't aware of. Top of your head. I allow myself to surrender completely. Top of your eyes. 
chakras, I allow myself the powerful force of birth to move through me. Under your side of your eyes. I connect with what I need. Under your eyes. And I connect to my capacity to create and ask for what I need. Under your mouth. Under your nose. I create agency in this bus journey. Under your mouth. I have the power to have agency in this bus journey. I can feel what I truly need. Side of your body. I can always and newly reconnect to the wisdom of my body front of your body, under your chest, to what my body truly needs and where my body is guiding me. Color, wrist point. I can reconnect to what I really need. So that my baby can be born, so that I can feel safe, held, nurtured and loved and be at that place where I can give birth to my baby top of your head I trust my instincts and my desires top of your eyebrows I have the power to shape my birth space I create that space Full of love and respect. Under your eyes. And I clearly ask for what I need. And you know, it's okay to disappoint some people in this. I can embrace what I need. And I am allowed to feel safe and help. This doesn't mean I'm less powerful side of your body. It actually allows me to step into my full power. Beautiful. I want you to stop again for a second and reconnect again. Reconnect what is there. Reconnect what you're feeling. Realize any thoughts that come up, any desires. Maybe also any fears, any concerns, whatever shows up, it's all welcome to be there. And then you go for a last round to the top of your head and you say, I know that I have the agency to realize what I truly want top of your eyes and I can create what I truly want side of your birth eyes it's brave to realize what I truly want under your eyes and what I truly need power to realize that under your mouth and to speak it clearly And so I can create this safe space full of love, respect, and support. Side of your body, where I can receive what I need. Front of your body, so I can allow myself to completely fall apart. Rest point and find the new to be reborn as a mother. To be reborn into a new version of myself. Top of your head. I allow myself to completely surrender. To this incredible force of birth. Side of your eyes. That will bow my knee before life. 
and brings me to a place of only being able to receive and surrender. And there you know, I allow myself that place. And there you know, and I have the agency to create what I truly need. And to bravely go for it. Out of your body. And maybe some things will bring me to a place where I will reconsider my plan and make some changes. Front of your body. Maybe everything will work out exactly as I want to, or maybe not. And that's okay. Rest point. I have the agency to always find the best path for me. Of your hand. I allow myself to be all I am. Top of your eyebrows. I allow all parts of me to show up that need or want to be show, show up that want to be seen under your eyes, that want to be heard under your nose, that want to be integrated under your mouth. Even if I first are taken back that this part of me exists. Collarbone. Today I'm choosing to meet any part of me that might show up in this journey with curiosity, with love and compassion inside of your body, because I trust that it will guide me to a place of becoming more of who I truly am, of being okay that motherhood means to live in duality. And of being all I am. Beautiful. I want you to stop. And reconnect with your body. Reconnect with the sensations that are there. With the feelings. And just take note of them. Observe yourself with compassion. What is coming up? What do you realize you need that you weren't aware of? What part of you wants to be seen and heard and embraced? Or what is it time for to let go of a judgment you have about anything that you're afraid of that it might show up? So you can embrace all those different parts of you that all exist because they all are part of who you are. Just take a moment to write all this down, to take note of it. And before you leave this space, just thank your body and thank yourself and thank life for this incredible journey you're on full of miracles. Pleasure to tap with you. I would love to hear from you. Please reach out and let me know what was showing up for you. Have a beautiful day.